Hey, what's going on, guys? So, sorry I've been out of pocket for a couple of days. My renders kept crashing for some reason. But anyways, we're going to be doing another map here by Maui United. Now, when I did this map a couple of weeks ago, I wasn't really happy with the results. So, I have the Elgato uh, Camlink 4K now on a separate computer. And hopefully, we can capture this a little bit better here. Additionally, I am using this engine settings right here. So, this should work a lot better. So, have it open here. And as you can see, it is gorgeous. Now, I have DLSS, but what I'm going to do real quick is just set up the DLSS on begin play. So, let's, let's be quick. Then, I'll have that ready. So, when I have it, so right now we have it as off, and we'll leave it as is. Okay. All right. So, let's press play. And I am going to put in full screen. All right. There you go. All right. So, we have our little orc buddy here. And we're going to walk around in our scene. Hopefully, this is a lot better than last time. And we're going to check out these fires. Now, these fire look really, really good. We're getting around 42 frames per second right now, 23 ms. Look at this. It's just gorgeous. Uh, I am going to turn it up a little bit. It is dark by default. So, give me one sec. Let's go to post processing. I want you guys to be able to actually see this map because it is amazing. Let's do a 1. 1.5. Now I don't want to clip the highlights and not fire, but yeah, this is a lot better. So let's press play. Alright, F11. And let's go for a walk. We got 60 frames now. Ooh, whoa. That was pretty bad 40 frames by the fire pretty awesome I'm gonna try not to make you guys dizzy or dizzy here so let's walk around and we'll turn on uh, DLSS here after and since we're far away from the fire I'm getting around 55 now 56 FPS and at the end of this video I will try and package this up as an exe file and see if we can get a better, smoother frame rate, which we should. Look at this thing. It looks so cool. Now, this environment right here, I don't know if you guys, actually, I don't want to spoil or anything, but this reminds me of, this environment reminds me of Season 2 Mandalorian, the episode, the Jedi. It has that feel to it, and that's why I kind of like it. So if this is your first video of me walking around these map, but basically this map uh, was made by I think two individuals. So they pretty much photo scan these assets and create this map and they sell it in the Epic Marketplace. And like I've said it's a million times, these are probably the best environment you can get in the Marketplace right now. And it is a, it is a little bit expensive and that's for a darn reason. It looks like there's some water over here. Let's check it out. Gosh, this is, uh, I just wish, like, his team would get bigger already so he can just crank these maps out. Because I'm curious to see if he can also make some interior ones. But his exterior ones are just fantastic. So, it looks like our FPS is about 60-ish to 65 away from that fire. So, let's take a look at some DLSS setting here, okay? Skate. F11. We'll go back to our blueprint. And let's set this to ultra performance. Compile and save. Press play. And then click F11. Okay. So right off the bat, we are getting 90s. Okay, I'm going to slowly turn this time towards this area. Okay, it looks like. We're not by the fire. Okay, but over here when we were getting 60s earlier, now we're getting like 90s. So let's see if I can find a fire. If not, I'll find it from the world map here. Looks like we're getting 90, 89 90s or FPS with ultra performance on. So you did get a couple of FPS. 
But as you can see, you can probably see it. The quality did degrade just a little bit. Looks a little bit noisier than before. So yeah, let's find that map. Let's find that fire. Good. Oh, there it is. I can see it. So let's fly through that. And we'll start it like right here. Let's see if it has a player. No, it doesn't. Okay, so too easy. Just drop one in there. Player start. All right, let's press play. Here we are. We're in front of the fire now. And yeah, we were getting like 30s and 40s earlier. But now with DLSS on. Nah, man. It's not even phased. But like I said, look at the fire. The, the quality did decrease just a little bit. But we're at 11 MS now instead of 20s earlier. Pretty cool. It's awesome. Got some color trying there. Okay. So let's take a look at the other end of the spectrum, which is going to be performance. Not performance, quality. Skate. F11. So, blueprints, open blueprint class, or sorry, open level blueprint. Let's change this to quality, compile and save. That's kind of cool. I know a lot of people really appreciate me doing this because it is an expensive map, so it's nice to kind of see it first before you buy in it. So that's why I'm kind of doing it. All right, so it looks like we're getting 15, 16 MS. And then we'll get closer to the fire. 15 MS, 57 to 60, 16. So it went from 11 to 15, 16 MS, 60 frames per second. Man, I'm telling you that DLS is stuff. That's like black magic, man. It's crazy. I don't know if you guys used it. Uh, I played Cyberpunk, and I used DLSS in that game. And I mean, whew, you're talking about getting some nice frame rate, well, playable frame rate in 8K, which is pretty sweet. So as soon as we kind of move out of that area, I'm getting about 90 frames per second again because of this DLSS. Look at these rocks, man. It's so crazy. All right, so we dip down to like 14, 13. Now this is the map that I shot my first Mandalorian short skit in. I think it was with Dave and whatever. Because I just fell in love with this map. I think this was the second map I bought from him. Okay. Alright, so what I'll do now is just package this up and try to play it in the EXE file. And press stop. We're going to go make it fast and just show you the scale of this map here. See there that I dropped down FPS. It is... Pretty darn massive. It's huge. Alright, so let's package this up. Save all. Package project. Ooh. Package project. Windows. Actually, before we do that, we got to make sure this is the actual map that this is going to start in. So, project settings. Let's go to maps and modes. It looks like it's already set. So, that's good. And then we can go to... The yeah looks like the default game mode. We're gonna do we had BPMW game mode, and then for the yep that's the correct one. Okay, so save all package. Gosh, come on, mouse. Windows. All right, guys. So we're back now. This is the packaged version of this map. Although I did have to turn off the post-processing because there is a bug right now in 4.26 Lite. So they did tell me that, yeah, you might run into that issue. There's a little bit of weird stuff going on. So I turned off post-processing and it is fine now. And as you can see, this thing runs amazing when it's packaged up. Oh, there's a freaking branch there. Didn't see it. So yeah, let's just walk around so you can kind of see it. It looks great. Yeah, this runs really smooth. Really smooth. Okay. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hopefully, this is going to record a lot better than the 
previous video that I did on this map, I just had to redo it because that previous video didn't do justice at all with how amazing this map is. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys later. So you want to learn Unreal Engine 4, but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations. Maybe I can help with that. I just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside Unreal Engine 4. In an hour and 40 minutes, I'm going to teach you how to install Unreal Engine 4 to create your very first CG animation. Unreal Engine is the future, and this video is the perfect introduction to it.